Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the structure of nails. Uh, nails, it turns out, are very similarly formed to hair, except that they're more scale-like modifications of epidermis rather than tubular as you'd find with hair. However, what is similar between nails and hair is that they're both made of hard keratin. Uh, nails also act as a protective cover for the distal dorsal surfaces of your fingers and toes, or phalanges. And the nail itself consists of a free edge, nail plate, and root, which is embedded within the uh, dermis. Now, the nail bed is actually an extension of uh, epidermis that you find uh, underneath the keratinized nail plate itself. And the nail matrix is the thickened portion of the bed that's responsible for nail growth, just like the hair matrix was involved with hair growth. So the nail fold is actually a skin fold that overlaps the border of the nail, on the edges, like the side. The eponychium is the nail fold that projects onto the surface of the nail body. We also call this the cuticle. This is the portion of epidermis you'd find kind of proximally on the nail that hangs over on the proximal surface of that nail itself. Um, the nails are normally appear pink because of underlying capillaries. In the lunules a th is a thickened nail matrix that appears kind of whitish on the proximal end of your nail. Now, abnormal color and shape of the nails can be an indicator of disease. Uh, it can be an indicator of cardiovascular disease because nails need to be nourished by blood vessels. Abnormal nail growth can also occur with certain hormonal disturbances or even nutritional deficiencies. So uh, what's fascinating is you, you can look at nail health as an indicator of, uh, you know, overall health. Now, what this slide is showing is basically the, the, you know, an image of a nail here. So this is the distal end of a finger or phalange. Uh, you'd find that here's the nail itself. We have the free edge, the body, and then the matrix, which would be deeper, or the root, root of the nail. Uh, we have the lateral nail fold on the side. We have the uh, eponychium or cuticle here on the proximal end. The lunules, kind of a thickened patch of matrix. And uh, if you look at a cross section here, you can see that um, you know it's superficial to the bone, subcutaneous tissue, and stratified squamous epithelium. But we would call this the nail bed. Um, all of this is the nail itself. See so the free edge, the body, and the root. The root it can actually be traced back towards the matrix. Remember the matrix is actually the the site of new nail growth. So this is actually where the cells would divide and in, incorporate you know those dead keratinocytes full of hard keratin into the growing nail, which then pushes outward uh, more distally.